Sonia Manzano took on the role of Maria on Sesame Street in 1971 when she was just 21 years old. As one of the first leading Latina women on television, Maria helped generations of children learn their letters, numbers, and a bit of Spanish. Viewers watched her grow up, get married, and even have a baby. This is a very, very important letter that's, today. That's a nice looking letter. Yeah, it's very important on Sesame yeah. Street today. Sunny day, sleeping up, clouds away. The mom can do? Yeah. It's that. Oh, it can kiss. Can you tell me how to get how to You know, sometimes I wish I could just snap my fingers and have all my work done by magic. Did you hear that? Yeah. She wishes all her work could get done by magic. Come and play. Everything's okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yay! <laughs> oh, Big Bird. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm looking for the baby. Did somebody say, have fun? Oh, but school was really great. Uh -huh. You should have been there. Well, tell me I gave that, that apple to the teacher. Did she like oh. she liked Oh, she pretty? Oh, yes. Well, after 44 years and 15 Emmy Awards, Sonia is leaving Sesame Street. She has written a new memoir, Becoming Maria, Love and Chaos in the South Bronx. And Sonia joins us only on CBS This Morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's okay, childhood dream. <laughs> childhood dream coming true. Maria, Maria. Thank here. you for flashing my life Life's before my eyes, eyes and, yeah. and everybody else's eyes this morning. Isn't that great to see? It's you know. remarkable. There, there were moments in, in, the, in those clips that I don't even remember shooting. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's such a cultural thing, too, is because so many of us grew up watching Sesame of Street. Course. And you were really the first Latina you know, that many of us saw on TV. I mean, and also people said, surely you're the most loved person ever on Thank television. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I've been very gratified. I, I love it when uh, people who live in the Midwest said to me, you're the first Latin person I've ever known, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that I've ever seen. And, and I think, it, uh, I'm sure they know Latin people, or yeah. they had known Latin people, but I think when they see me, I was the first one that was real to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that's wonderful. Yeah. It's, it's um, well, I mean, as a parent, you, you helped raise my three children. <laughs> uh, and I know you've probably heard that millions yes, and millions of yes. times. I like what our makeup artist Patrice said. She said, you're the Beyonce of Sesame oh. Street. <laughs> well, that's not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I mean, you know, you, I know you know how much you've meant to so many kids growing up. It's just extraordinary. Yeah, thank you. I uh, found a lot of comfort when I was a child watching television, so I think that it's, uh, it was natural for me to fall into a show that was providing comfort. I mean, Sesame Street means a lot of things to many people, but to me it always meant an hour where there was safety and comfort. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and that was important to you, why? Because I was raised in a tumultuous uh, yeah. environment, and I would watch those shows that are on TV land now, Father Knows Best and Leave It to Be, but for comfort and order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so Sesame Street shows comfort and order in, and love in a place that's recognizable to children who might be in the same situation I was. What was it like growing yeah. up in the South Bronx? It was pretty tumultuous, and there was uh, uh, alcoholism. In your family. And my family, and there was violence. Violence and and there was and there was love and there was humor and uh, it was a mishmash and uh, uh, but and I found comfort uh, uh, watching television. Mm -hmm. And you call in this book love and chaos in the <laughs> South Bronx. Right. It's such a different snapshot of childhood than the one you presented to the world um, when you talk about that that safe place. I mean, I was know. there something like that for you? Well, I think up? that I became Maria. I was the best Maria I could be because of that childhood, not in spite of it, because mm -hmm. I always remembered myself watching television. Right. And I always remembered how it felt uh, uh, how it felt to look for answers, to try to put two and two together. I was the kind of kid who would find shapes in the cracks in the ceiling and yeah. mm -hmm. the plaster. And here Sesame Street is showing animation called Embedded Figures where kids are encouraged to find shapes where they're not, where they were not obvious to the viewer. So it was a, it was a perfect fit, I think. Okay. You ended up getting a scholarship to Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh yes. and then came to Broadway 
with the, the original cast of Godspell. Yes, we did Godspell at Carnegie Mellon University as yeah. a student project. And and but but there couldn't have been a lot of parts for Latina actresses in New York. There were none. Yeah. Uh, when I grew up, there were no Latins on television. There were no Latins in the media, and there were no black people either. And so, uh, when I did Godspell, and when I got the call for Sesame Street, I was absolutely thrilled. I can't say that there were a million actresses going up for the part, but uh, I was the one who lucked out. Okay, I have so many questions for you. Do you have a favorite Muppet? Yes, my favorite Muppet is Oscar the Grouch. Oh, really? Yes, because I think he's very nuanced, and when I'm talking to him, I can't tell if he's eight years old or 48 years old. Right. Or three oh. old. Was it, was it, it tough was acting with Muppets? Was oh, sure. My first uh, Muppet that I had to act with was Grover, <laughs> and uh, I kept looking down at Frank Oz, the puppeteer, who was at my feet, and then he said in Grover's voice, "Don't look at that man down there." And I look at me, and I was like, and then Carol Spinney, who plays Big Bird, said to me, "Don't be nervous. There's only going to be millions and millions of people watching you." So, what do you think now about Sesame Street transitioning to HBO? Mm -hmm. It's been on the air a very long time, and Sesame Street has always the f reflected the times that it exists in. It came out of the 60s and the civil rights movement, and it was a very idealistic show. I think its move to HBO reflects that it is still mirroring the society we yeah. live in. So if I'm going to criticize anything, and I'm not, <laughs> I would criticize the times that we live in and not the show. Now that you're retiring, what are you going to do next? Are you going to write more? I think I'm going to write more. I, I love uh, to put my sensibility in books. Uh, I, I have a, another children's book, picture book, that's also going to be released in September in addition to uh, Becoming Maria. And, I, uh, and certainly I will continue to try to help kid, kids in whatever arena is afforded to me. Well, we will miss you. Sunny thank Manzana, you. thank you so much for being here this morning. Yes. It was a thrill for all of us. Thank Becoming you. Maria goes on sale today.